Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm here at the Life Center in Plymouth for what is today the Masters Championships for Devon County. I've got four races today, uh, 50 backstroke. I haven't raced a backstroke race since uh, 2017, so that'll be interesting. Not much uh, I enjoy about backstroke, so let's see how that goes. It went up very long, probably like 10, 15 minutes before a 200 IM. Um, pretty nervous about that one, if I'm honest. That one's the one I'm really dreading, just because it hurts so much. Uh, then I got a long break before 100 free, and then pretty much immediately after that, I've got the 50 fly. Just uh, out of the warm-up, and I do not feel good. <laughs> I feel so heavy, but um, <clears throat> really hard training at the moment, and any swimmer will know, well, should know, and if you don't know this, then this is some great advice. Never go by how you feel in the warm-up. Sometimes you feel great and you swim really bad. Sometimes you feel really bad and you swim great. So never go by how it feels in the warm-up, but I've got to take my own advice here. All right, just suit it up. Wear my favorite suit, the Finnish Rival 2.0. 50 backstroke first. PB 2611, haven't done it since 2017. That was when I did my PB, it was the last time I raced. Um, so let's see how it goes. When I started this race, it just felt so foreign. I never do any underwaters on backstroke. Although I do a lot of underwaters in training, I never do it on my back, and that's shown here clearly by how Callan takes such a massive distance out of me off both walls. My backstroke speed didn't feel too bad, but when you've lost a body length on each wall, you get schooled. But well done to Callan, who broke his own British record in this race. So up next I had the 200 IM and I felt really heavy as soon as I dived in. Didn't have that much of a break between the 50 back and the 200 IM and I was really feeling the carry of that backstroke. And as soon as I did hit the backstroke it felt even worse and I, I decided to back off a little bit because I'd never, f I can't remember the last time I felt this bad on the second 50 of a 200. So I backed off and it did mean a slow time of a 34, but as soon as I hit the breaststroke, I felt a lot better. So after about half a length of breaststroke, I decided to pick it up again and see if I could bring it back strong in the second hundred. I've been doing a bit more breaststroke, especially more breaststroke than backstroke recently. So my breaststroke didn't feel too bad. And when I hit the freestyle, I still felt reasonably fresh. It's like I built into the race after the first 100 feeling so bad, this last 50 felt great. And I actually built it back in a reasonable time, 30.0 on the freestyle for a 2.10.7. End of session one, 50 backstroke, 200 IM done. 200 IM hurt, but I'm quite pleased with the 2.10. Not so nervous feeling going forwards because I've only got the 103 and the 50 fly, although they are back to back, probably with only about five, six, seven minutes rest in between. So, um, up next in this session is Cameron. So, Cameron being my nephew, and he's got a 50 breaststroke. So, I'm going to sit up in the stands and watch him. Uh, Cameron's going for a PB in the 50 breaststroke today. If my skills don't let me down, it's, it's been a while since I've hit a dive. I did a few in warm up. They're a bit dodgy, but we'll see what happens. So. I'll be happy with maybe 28. Yeah, 28. Nah, you can't be happy with a 28. No, 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 only because skill-wise. If I get my skills good, then hopefully maybe a 27. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. So Cameron sets off for his 50 breaststroke, and just to his worries, he did mess up nearly every skill. Breakouts, turns, dive, all of it at lost time proving that time out the water does mean you lose your feel and you lose your rhythm and you lose some of these skills. Cameron hasn't swam now for over a month since nationals and I think that showed today in his racing. Still posted a reasonable time of 28.4 but he could have gone faster. So what went wrong Cameron? Well, I messed up my dive, that was rubbish. The underwater wasn't great, I came up really short and did way more strokes than I've ever done to 15. Then I missed the wall, so I had to drop complete power so I could hit the stroke. Yeah, there was a funny Slow turn. turn. 
deep break out off the turn. <laughs> Very deep. And then really powerful last length. I was flying, I felt good, so. <laughs> <laughs> so the swimming went well, mm. just everything else. And well, I didn't really get into it on the first length, but yeah, second length went well. Short course, obviously you get exposed if you've got bad skills. I mean, obviously you won the race by miles, but there was definitely a 27 in there. Yeah, I, I could have had that today if I had better skills, I think, so. Well, well, I'll take it, I'm happy. I'm when you asked to do the 100 breaths and do a 50? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Right, well done. Thank you. Just thought I'd highlight this guy here. Absolute legend. 75 years old, he's entered 11 races in a four and a half hour program. He's still going in a 400 IM, just passing 12 minutes. And here he comes in to the finish. 11 races, one of them being the 400 IM. This is like his uh, eighth race today. And it's a 400 IM. Look at that, there we go. 12, 14, zero, one. Good job. 103 up next. I've had a break of about an hour and a half. Um, had another swim in the warm up, not very much. But this is a big one, so looking forward to it, see what we can post. Feeling really heavy, so I'm just I'm just hoping for, for the race to go well, the process. Then straight into 50 fly, maybe, maybe six or seven minutes. Straight into 50 fly after that. So see if we can do a no breath 50 with not much recovery. Diving in for the 100 free, I still felt a bit heavy, but not as bad as I had done for the first two races. And I went in with the idea of breathing fours for the first time ever through the 100 meters. After watching Kieran Preston in Sheffield breathe sixes for 100, I thought that, you know, my twos were not going to be good enough moving forward. This enabled me to increase my stroke rate, and, and I'm still torn as to whether this was effective or not because I did drop my power to increase the stroke rate and based on how heavy I felt I can't decide right now whether this is something I'm going to do moving forwards because swimming fatigued you can learn quite a few lessons but I don't know whether this is a lesson I want to take forwards still managed to post a 52-0 I was gunning for a 51 but I'll take the 52 after the 200 medley. Up next was the 50 fly where I'll be head to head against Cameron. After the 100 free I had about a 300 meter swim down before this 50 fly and I decided to throw strategy out the window and just go for a higher rate than I normally do. This meant that I was slipping water, I had no power and the time reflects that. I still managed to go a no breath 50, but I messed up the turn, messed up the finish, and slipped water the whole race. So a 25-4 at the end is not the best race I've ever done by a long stretch, but I'll take it at the end of a hard program. I'm back at home now, just editing the video before it goes up. Just going to give a brief overview of how I think things went. So start with the 50 backstroke. I just don't do that much work on backstroke and as I said in the video the underwater's really really let me down there so I think I need to start doing a bit more underwater practice on backstroke but I really don't enjoy backstroke so I don't see myself racing that quite so often in the future. Into the 200 medley and based on how it felt I actually thought that time was going to be much slower so a 210 it's not that far off my best time ever which is for 206. So actually a uh, PB plus four based on how bad that felt and that middle hundred really was quite weak uh, but felt good on the freestyle at the end. I think with a rest that time can drop quite quite significantly. So look forward to doing that again in the future. The hundred free, it felt good. Uh, I didn't die as much as I thought I would breathing fours but I did expect when I touched the wall, it felt quicker than a 52-0 if I was honest. So I was a little bit disappointed with that. But based on how the process went, uh, I think I can actually be quite pleased looking back from it now. But uh, finally, <laughs> that 50 fly, um, this really does show that you just got to do what you train. So I threw everything out the window, did not do what I usually do in training. Do not did not do what I usually do in a race and I just completely winged it 
and it just went south. So that was a really good lesson, wake up call. These are all things I know, but I still had to go and learn that lesson again. Um, but overall, fairly successful weekend. Um, well, four hour session, four races in that, that period. I'm, I'm quite pleased with it overall. So four weeks now until I race again. It'll be at the regional championships this time. Hope to see you then.